You may have seen YouTube end cards or is it end screens and thought, how can I make my own? Well, stick around and I will show you how. What's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Donna Clarkson. In this video, I am going to show you how to make a customized end screen for your YouTube videos in Canva. If you are new to my channel, please click the subscribe button and hit that bell to get updates on new videos. All right, let's go. You may have seen at the end of YouTube videos end cards or end screens and wondered, what are they? Well, they are a call to action for your viewers to subscribe to your channel or to view your other videos. YouTube allows you to add elements to the last 20 seconds of your video. This will help increase watch time and get people to subscribe to your channel. So I'm gonna show you how to customize your own end screen card, add it to your video and upload it to YouTube. All right, let's jump on my computer. Okay, so you're gonna go into YouTube Studio. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see videos, click on videos. And now you have a list of all the videos that you've uploaded. So pick the one that you want to add the end screen to. So I'm going to pick this one. So you will click on end screen and this will open up. So now on your left hand side, you have a template with um, the subscription icon and your video link icon. Um, on the right, you have your video and then you have this little box here. So this little rectangle here, there is a rectangle within this rectangle and this is the one that's important this white rectangle right here this is where your elements will go so i'm going to click on one of these templates i'm just going to click on this and it's going to pop up with a circle and a rectangle so the circle is where your subscription icon goes and the rectangle is where your video goes um, as you can see, over the circle is another box, but I want to get rid of that. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to unclick the show hover card outline. I'm going to unclick that. It's going to remove that. I don't need that. So all of these elements cannot go past these white lines. So you can see, you can move them to the edge, you can actually move them around, but you can't go past these white lines. The same thing with the circle. So you can actually click on it and make it um, a little bit larger, but that's the largest it goes to. And this is the smallest it goes to. And this is your circle. Same thing here, you can move this around as well. So we're gonna take a screenshot of this area, I'm going to shift command four, I'm on a Mac. I'm going to drag it out. And I want to get the measurements of this area here as close to matching this video as we can. Okay, and we're gonna use that screenshot in Canva. So now we're in Canva. So we're gonna go over to create a design and we're going to customize the dimensions. And we're going to choose 1920 by 1080 okay, and create design. So here is where we're going to customize it to whatever we want. I'm going to show you two ways um, that you can do it. One way will be for your customized template to overlay over your video. And the other way will be just to add it at the end of your video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to Uploads to get our screenshot. Go on the left-hand side, click on Uploads, and I'm going to upload an image. So while it is uploading, go ahead and click on it. So you want to resize it to fit the entire area. Go ahead and resize it. All right, so now we have it resized. So as you can see, we have our white lines right here. So we need to make sure that the elements that we create do not go past this line. So this will be our template. Um, so you can actually click on it, go to the upper right hand, and you're going to um, hover over transparency, click on that. And you can actually lower the transparency 
you know, kind of disappear, but we want to keep it up just enough to see our white lines to make sure that whatever we create will be um, within those lines. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is to make these shapes, make the rectangle and make the circle. So I'm going to go to elements on the left hand side. I'm going to click on the circle and you want to resize it to fit right over the circle that you already have. And then you want to click the square and resize it to fit over this rectangle. This is good. So I'm going to go ahead and change these colors just to black so they can stand out a bit. All right, so now let's just say that you want two links, two video links. There are two links that you want to um, show your viewers at the end. So I'm going to click on the rectangle and I'm going to go to the upper right top and hit duplicate. It's going to duplicate the exact rectangle in the right size so I don't have to go ahead and resize it. So we are still within these lines and you can move this wherever you want. So I want to overlay this template over my actual video. So I want to make sure that I'm not covering myself. So I'm going to put the subscription around here. That's a good spot. All right, so now I want to create some text. So I'm going to click on text and I'm going to write watch this next. So you want to tell your viewers to watch this video next. And you can change the font, whatever font you want. Okay. And you can put it over wherever you want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and put it up here. Now, the text can actually be outside of the of this um, of these lines. The text can actually be outside. It does not have to be within the lines. Just the actual elements where your viewer has to click needs to be um, inside the rectangle. And I'm going to actually duplicate this as well so I can write something else for this video down here. Um, you can write anything you want. YouTube suggests videos, so maybe I can write YouTube suggested. Whatever you want to write, you can write there. And I'll move this over here. Okay, so this video would be the video you want them to watch next. And this video down here is the one that YouTube suggested. Okay, so you could play around with where you want them to be when you're almost done with the design. All right, so now I want to create some geometric shapes. I want to make it a little bit more, uh, have a little bit more pizzazz. So I'm going to go ahead and click on elements, go back to elements. Now I'm going to click on the square and make the square one of my brand colors. I'm going to put it over here in the corner and you can move this around however you like. You can turn it, you know, make whatever shape you want it to be. I actually want the video to be over this. So I'm going to put this behind my text and my videos. So I'm going to click on position and I'm going to click on backward. So now I want to create another shape on the right hand side. You can click the square. Same thing, put your brand colors, make it a little bit. You can customize the colors by hitting new color here, get it a little bit more brighter. Okay, same thing, move it around to where you want it to be. So now I'm going to add an arrow. I want the arrow to come and point to the actual subscription icon. So I'm going to go back to elements. I'm going to go to the search box and type in arrow. Okay. And you can choose any arrow that you like. Okay, so now you have your arrow. You want to resize it 
and you can flip it around. I'm going to change the color of the arrow to black. You can change it to whatever color you want it to be. So let's make sure that the circle and the rectangles are within the white lines. Now everything is within the white lines. So now we are almost ready to download. You make sure that you remove your picture, the screenshot. And now I want to go ahead and remove these elements because I don't need them anymore. We're going to replace that with the actual links. So let's go ahead and download this. It's ready to download. Uh, the file type is PNG. Make sure to click transparent background. And now save it. And then we're going to go into your editor. So now we are in my editor. I use iMovie. So I'm going to go ahead and download that template that we just did. So here we have it. And go ahead and click on it and put it over the area of the video that I want it to overlay. Okay. So now if you hover over it, you can see that it zooms in and zooms out. Now I don't want that to happen. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go up here to the crop icon. Right now it's on Ken Burns, which means I guess that it zooms in and zooms out, but I want it on fit. So I'm going to click fit. Okay, that way it stays still. I don't need it to zoom in and zoom out. All right, so we are good to go. Now you go ahead and upload this video into YouTube. All right, so now we're back in YouTube. Go ahead and go to videos. And click on the video that you wanna go ahead and use. And click on end screen. So now you can go up here and click on a template if you like, or you can come up here and uh, click on end screen and add a video. And you can choose from most recent upload, best for viewer, or choose your own. So I am choosing the best for viewer because it's, it's the video that YouTube suggested. I'm going to go ahead and put that here. And I'm going to choose subscribe. Okay, remember to take out the show hover card and put in this where we need to put it. Okay. So now I need the other video. I'm going to click on end screen. In this video, I want my most recent upload, so I'm going to keep that that way, move it around. So now if you come down here, you're going to see that it's actually not where I want it to be. So I'm going to adjust it to where I need it to be, which is over the overlay. Okay, I'm going to do the same. So now it's exactly where I want it to be. All right, so now we just save it. Okay, so you can come in and view it on YouTube. I hope to see you guys next time. Bye. All right, there we go. You had your end screen. So now we're going to go back to Canva and show you the other template. So we are back in Canva. This is the template that I wanted to show you that does not have you in the video. So you actually add this template to the end of your video, and I'll show you that. But I'm going to go over how to create this pretty quickly since you know all the steps. Right, so you can go ahead and actually add a background if you like. You go up into backgrounds on the left-hand side and you can choose whichever background you like. So now you wanna go ahead and create your text. I'm gonna go get my arrows. I'm gonna go back to elements. You can choose the arrows that you want. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and download, but this time don't click transparent background. We actually want that background to show. And now we go into our editor. We're going to do the same steps we did with the other end card. See, these elements have a border. If you don't want a border, you can go ahead and just adjust it to the size that you want it. All right, so we are done with the end screen. Let's jump back. So I just showed you how to create a custom end screen that matches your branding and that you can use throughout all of your videos. This is going to help increase your views across your channel by linking your viewers to your video, which in turn can help with YouTube ranking. All right, we are done. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, or you can email me at DonnaClarkson at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Bye.